Well, we're going to go back live now to our Alex Therese Perez for more details on this tragic evening. Alex, uh, before we hit you, uh, to hit, uh, go to you, I wanted to mention that uh, Steve Marshall, the Attorney General of Alabama, sent a statement, said in part, we're reminded again this week of the pure heroism of those who make up the thin blue line and we must never take their service and sacrifice for granted. That's right, Dan. Nick. Yeah, that's right. Um, their sacrifice is definitely in the minds and hearts of everyone here in Huntsville tonight. You are taking a live look right now as officers line up um, outside the lobby of the emergency room here at Huntsville Hospital. We are waiting for um, the procession of this officer who unfortunately lost his life in the line of duty this evening. Um, you, we are obviously going to wait until you know, this happens and we're going to be on standby. But like I mentioned earlier, um, our heart just breaks for everyone in the police department, the families who have lost their loved ones. It is just a heartbreaking moment and there are just no words and to the senseless violence out here. Um, I know that uh, the, the right now there's blue lights everywhere across the, seat, the street as Huntsville police officers show their support out here. I know several lawmakers, several agencies have reached out already, sending their condolences and showing their support for the Huntsville Police Department this evening. Um, we are still working to figure out the name of this hero who lost his life tonight. We do know that, however, there is a little bit of good news tonight because we do know that other officer is still alive. He is still fighting for his life inside, and um, we will make sure to keep you updated on his condition as we learn more. Reporting live in Huntsville, Alex Torres Perez, Way 31 News. Alex, you're right. There's no way to describe this, but senseless and heartbreaking. We know Xavier Wary, he's been at the scene following this story all evening long, following the details of how this all unfolded this evening, Xavier. Yeah, Nikhil, it's still a very much active scene right here at Governor's House Apartments. Building 500 right now is indeed a crime scene. It is taped off with yellow caution tape. Investigators are here. HPD is here. The Madison County Sheriff's Office, they are also here. Of course, this all stemmed back from a woman who was shot calling HPD around 445 today. Uh, and the first two officers that arrived on scene, they were shot uh, by that suspect. And again, it is very uh, sad to announce that we have to say that, uh, that an officer to die, but I'm reporting here tonight in Huntsville, like Xavier Wary, where 31 News. All right, thanks, Xavier. We're going to take you back to Huntsville Hospital, uh, the scene where so many have gathered there for a procession that will take this fallen officer's body. Uh, we don't know exactly where, I assume, to the forensics, the medical examiner's office, but uh, this procession will get underway here uh, shortly. As you can see, they're uh, opening the door to the hearse right now. It's hard to see, but I believe there will be a flag-draped coffin put into the back of that. And this procession will be uh, making its way through the uh, streets of Huntsville. And um, as we've seen in these processions before, if, if you want to step out onto the side of the street, pay your respects. You're welcome to do that. Just a heartbreaking scene unfolding there. Officers saluting their fallen other police officer there. We are still waiting to learn uh, officially the identity of the officer who lost his life today in the line of duty. We'll bring that to you as soon as we learn it. As Nikel mentioned a moment ago, there's another officer also in the hospital right now in critical condition. Yes, we understand that officer has undergone surgery. We're still working to learn more about uh, the other victim involved in this shooting today as well. They were called to a domestic violence situation. Uh, at an apartment complex, a governor's house apartments. The um, woman who was injured, they went to rescue her. They got her to safety, and then the other these officers were brought under fire by that suspect. Uh, as we've been telling you all day, we've been praying for these officers. They were both critically injured. Uh, one, unfortunately, succumbed to his injuries uh, late tonight, and that's what you're looking at right now, a procession of Huntsville police officers and others from other agencies nearby gathering to, to pay their respects. We're here. We're hearing from the uh, attorney general tonight on this tragic shooting tonight as well. The attorney general says our part of the country has been reminded yet again this week of the pure heroism of those who make 
up the thin blue line, the dividing line at times between life and death for the citizens that they swear no to protect. These two law enforcement officers responded to a domestic violence call this evening, knowing full well that they would be placing their lives on the line in defense of their fellow man. And as you mentioned, Dan, earlier, he said we must never take their service and sacrifice for granted. And they put that uniform on every day, stepping out into the city, not knowing whether they're going to come home that night. It's a frightening job. And we're so thankful they're doing it for us. Now, Alex Torres Perez is there at that procession monitoring this. Alex, if I could bring you back in for just a moment, do, do we know the route of this procession yet? Uh, unfortunately, they did not give us that information. We don't know um, where exactly they're heading, um, but we do know that they will be escorted by a long line of heroes, the men and women who put on the uniform and go out there every single day, you know, sat to, to you know, put their lives on the line to keep us safe. Um, you know, we know that, unfortunately, this man died in the line of duty doing his job, like you guys mentioned earlier today. Once again, it's unclear where they will be going, but we do know that, you know, the Huntsville Police Department are going to honor him like the hero he was tonight. Uh, we know that, um, you know, their hearts are broken. You know, earlier we saw that press conference live and we had a large crowd of Huntsville police officers behind the police chief and the mayor as they spoke, uh, their hearts broken, sniffles were heard across the crowd. Um, even the mayor and the police chief were talking a little bit lower because, you know, there are just no words and it's just a somber, sad feeling that we're all feeling right now at this moment. Um, right now we are seeing as they are loading up right now and kind of waiting to see what route they are taking. Uh, we are working to learn the name of the man inside of that hearse right now. Uh, once again, he passed away um, after being shot in the line of duty. Uh, he is one of two officers who were, in, who were, sh who was shot this evening. Uh, the other officer is inside fighting for his life in critical condition. Uh, you can still see officers have been out here all evening long. Uh, we saw the ambulance go from the crime scene to this uh, emergency room. Uh, we saw them escorting those ambulances as, you know, whenever an officer is injured in the line of duty, you know, the Huntsville Police Department agencies, they all come out and show their support. And here you're seeing that support. You're seeing officers hugging one another, saluting the man as he was brought outside of the hospital into the hearse. We saw how they are just praying for one another and just leaning on each other in support as, you know, this is just a heartbreaking time. I know the mayor mentioned earlier that there are just no words for what happened tonight. And honestly, there is just no way to describe this feeling, this mood. Um, there are, I'm looking at officers just leaning on each other, hugging one another, just in support of one another. And they're all getting ready to follow along um, just to make sure that we give uh, this man who did lost his life the hero salute that he deserves. You know, he sacrificed his life just doing his his day to day job. So um, we're just kind of awaiting to see when that's going to start. Dan. Alex Torres Perez reporting live there uh, as we get ready for a procession for this fallen officer. Um, she mentioned Mayor Battle. Mayor Battle and uh, Police Chief Giles clearly overcome with emotion when they had to make that announcement uh, to all of us earlier this hour. The Attorney General says that this is the first Alabama police officer to fall to gunfire this year, but the third now to be shot in the line of duty. We mentioned those two Shelby County deputies who were shot uh, earlier this month. They're fine. They, they, were, uh, they survived. They're uh, recovering right now. But, uh, we talked to Cecil Moses earlier this evening, Dan. You know, mm -hmm. he talked about, uh, you know, how it seems like it's open season on law enforcement officers and they're having a hard time recruiting, you know, because of it. Sure, yeah. And it's here we go once again tonight losing another one of our officers here at home in Huntsville. An often thankless and certainly all-time dangerous job. We just saw the hearse pull away from the emergency room doors there uh, heading down the street. And it will be fun. There it is right there.
one of Huntsville's finest, taken away in a hearse. Not something you ever want to see. It will be followed by a long procession of Huntsville police officers and vehicles paying their respects. We will continue to work to bring you more details as to what will happen next. Of course, we'll bring you those details as soon as we get them here on air and online at waytv.com.